So y'all want to know out of the reception centers that I went through down here in the state of Florida while serving my time, which one was the worst and which one would I consider to be the roughest place to do your time at. So for this video, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to let y'all know through my experience which one was the roughest for me. I'm the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lax on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man, K-Fraud TV back in the building Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today I'm going to be talking about reception centers, but I'm not going to just be talking about reception centers. This video here, I'm actually going to tell y'all which one I consider to be the worst place to do your time at. I know everybody's, you know, opinion could be different, and it's kind of crazy because while I was in prison, you know, coming across certain individuals and a lot of people that I actually did time with, you know, you, you hear the complaints. People throw them out there, you know, about, man, that place is fucked up, or I can't stand that place, or this and that, this and that, etc. You know what I'm saying? And to me, the place that I feel like was the worst, you know, or the roughest to do the time at, is the total opposite of what I heard the most about. You feel me? But we're going to go ahead and get right into it, but let's start from the beginning. All right. So for anybody who's facing time down here in the state of Florida, I'm going to let you know off rip that down here in Florida, we have four reception centers. OK, because we have four different regions, the way that they break the state up. OK, when you find yourself getting locked up. Now, if you're someone that's from down south like me, the reception center you are going to go to is going to be SFRC, which is South Florida Reception Center. All right. And the way it is there is I'm going to keep it real with you. It's it's like. It's like a hood, you know what I'm saying? Officers got gold teeth, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of swag, you know, in that reception center when it comes to the guards, you know, just the way it is, you know what I'm saying? But being from down south, like I'm from down south, that's normal. You get what I'm saying? And that is actually one of the places that I hear a lot of people say it's the worst place to do time at. But a lot of people who say that were from up top. Like they were from higher up of Florida, you know, they were like from the Panhandle area, northern Florida. You feel me? So I don't know if it's just because they're from up there, not from down here, that they felt like that was kind of worse than the reception centers that they go to first. Or I don't know, because it's kind of the same on my end. It was worser as I went up, you know, rather than from where I'm from, you know, even though it was more laid back, dangerous. You know, the guards let whatever happens, shit happens, you know, at the reception centers, you feel me? But South Florida Reception Center was like home to me, you get what I'm saying? Even though some people disagree and feel like it's worse than other places, you know what I'm saying? So I can't even say South Florida, SFRC, is the worst or the roughest, you know, to me. That's how I look at it from being down here, you get what I'm saying? Now, once you leave South Florida Reception Center, I will say this. No matter where you get caught up in Florida, as you travel your way down to your main institution, you will have to go through these reception centers, okay? You may not have to go through all of them, you feel me? But you do have to go through the ones that are in the regions of where you're going. So if you're going halfway through Florida from the top, you know, on your way down, then you're going to go through the top regions reception center then the next one, you feel me? And then you'll go to your main camp. You won't have to go through all four of them just to go to your camp, you feel me? Unless you're going to the whole other side of Florida, all right? So now, after South Florida Reception Center, the next one we got is CFRC, which is in the Orlando area, you know what I'm saying? Central Florida Reception Center. That's where you go to when you leave South Florida if you go up and none of your camps are in the down south region, all right? Now, CFRC, to me, not bad. You get what I'm saying? Like, that shit wasn't all that at all, you know? No problems, no nothing. And me in my mind, I was thinking like, you know, I know I'm going to get into something because it was my first time ever in prison. Here I'm getting transferred, you know, way away from where I'm from, you know, at least in South Florida. 
You know, you're going to see people that would be in your county jail, you know, or a county over from where you're from. You see what I'm saying? Like me being from Broward County, you know, our tri-county area is Broward, Dade, and Palm Beach. So, you know, Broward's in the middle of Palm Beach and Broward's in the middle of Dade County, Miami. So, South Florida, you see a lot of those, you know. So, it's like normal. It's just like being in the county, kind of, you know. But once I got to Orlando, I was like, man, I'll probably get some shit here or whatever. And this and that. And I was, you know, I won't say looking forward to it, but I was kind of like ready to get into some shit, you know. Because it's like, if somebody tries me, I don't know what it's like up here. You know, if somebody tries me up this way, you know, damn right I'm finna smash the gas, you know. And uh, if y'all like to know about actual, what it's like inside of the reception centers, I actually have another video that I posted a long time ago called Reception Centers 101. And y'all could check that one out, you feel me? But this one's strictly on which one I feel like is the roughest to do your time at. My opinion, okay? So, South Florida Reception Center wasn't that bad used to that type of shit cfrc central florida reception center wasn't bad either okay that right there when i got there i was actually let down a little bit not thinking that i was gonna you know it'd be as easy as it really was it was actually you know more laid back to me than sfrc was you got the third one when you make your way up the map everybody knows about this one they've heard stories about it even if they've never been there and that's gonna be Lake Butler, okay, and that one there they call RMC, which is Reception Medical Center, all right, now, when you find yourself going to Lake Butler, that right there is the one that I will feel like is the worst to do your time in, hands down, and I'm going to let you know a little bit why, now, when you get to Lake Butler, one thing I will tell you about it is the guards are totally different. The guards, real racist, not just against blacks, you know, they're racist against inmates, let's just say. They don't give a damn what color you are, you know, they're going to be so disrespectful and try to put their hands on you any kind of way and shit like that. That institution is a place that you don't want to make sure you got your eyes open at all times, you feel me? And I'll take this back, it's not even a institution, it's a reception center. Okay, but the way it is there is them guards are known for decades from dragging people, hurting people. Everybody's heard the myth. Everybody's heard the, 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 the jar of gold teeth, which ain't even really a myth. It's true. You feel me? But everybody's heard about it. You know, them guards literally are on some other shit over there. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get off that bus... Whether you're white, they're calling you a cracker. What if Whether you're black, they're calling you the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how they are. And it doesn't matter what color that officer is. That's just how they rock there. You get what I'm saying? And my first, like, altercation in a reception center, like, was at that camp with, with the gang. You know what I'm saying? But it was just because they were from up that way. You get what I'm saying? So, like any other place you get locked up, if you're from up there, there's most likely going to be more of y'all than there is of other gangs or people who aren't in gangs in general or outnumbered regardless. You see what I'm saying? And I've told videos and shit how I got into it with people over there before. Because I remember they said, uh, everybody from down south got to pay rent. You feel me? And I started laughing. I wasn't on that shit. I wasn't on that paying rent shit. You know what I'm saying? And I got into it with some people. You feel me? But um, at the end of the day... Just the way it was, it felt like prison. It felt so hicked out. It just felt like, like it, 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 it felt more of like a boot camp, you know, than it did prison. You know, it's, it's, it's structure and everything is like an old war concentrate, like camp, like where they bring people and they break them, you know, like where they bring like prisoners of war and try to break them down and turn them into their own like that's exactly how it was when i was at lake butler you get what i'm saying but the one thing i will say about it is it wasn't as bad going back through it coming back down than it was going up so i had a bad experience and then a good experience you know or a normal experience you could say you see so that's how i know at the end of the day it's got a lot to do with rotation you know they 
it, since the reception centers, there's people coming in and out, left and right. You know what I'm saying? Coming in, going to this camp. Coming, going to this camp. There's so many people going to so many different places. You know, and not to mention, reception centers, a lot of people like to rob and steal because it's just basically a hub station for transport. So people are coming in and out, like I said. So they try to come up huh, and go. They'll feel like they'll never see you again. They're going to go somewhere else. You'll never run into each other. And you can most definitely run into somebody that you was at a reception center with. But a lot of times... It feels like that one individual that you'll get into it with, you may not, you see? And it isn't like they put a keep separate on you, like in the county, if you get an incident with somebody, they put a keep separate and y'all never run into each other again. No, this is just different. It's like just the luck of the draw, you know? Sometimes you run into that person you have beef with, or sometimes you won't, you feel me? So a lot of people do a lot of stealing, you know what I'm saying? And when I was in Lake Butler, I was like... For somebody to come at me saying, oh, you know, oh, everybody from down south got to pay rent. You know, I was the one white boy that came in out of the whole group. You know, I couldn't just let that shit slide. I was like, y'all got me fucked all the way up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, it was a bad experience on the way up just for people trying to, you know, act like they were finna be able to extort. Then it was on the way back down. When I came back through, I was ready and prepared. And I was like, you know what? Because of what it was like last time, I was like, shit, somebody tried me this time, boy, I got that plexiglass. I could be transported with this banger on me. Now, I know how prison works more, you feel me? Because it's totally different when you go to prison from the county jail, you sit in the reception center for like three weeks, and then they send you wherever they send you. So if you look at it, by the time I landed at Lake Butler, I had already went from the county jail to South Florida's reception center, was there for like three weeks, then I went up, boom, to CFRC, which is Orlando's reception center, and then went from there to Lake Butler, right? So I had already been in prison, let's say a month, maybe a month and five days, you know? So I'm still a green bean to the institution. I'm still a green bean to the system. I don't know how everything works, you know? The same people that you think you can ask for help might be the same people that try to take advantage of you not knowing things. So you don't want to really ask nobody. You just want to go with the flow and act like you know everything. You know, you want to act like you ain't new to this shit. You're true to this shit. Because somebody that looks new looks vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? And on your way going through these reception centers, boy, you're going, you're going to look like a new cop. You know, you're going to look like an inmate. A new, a fresh meat inmate. That new haircut, you fucking... You're, you're glowing, you know what I'm saying? You look pale as hell. If they shave your head and you ain't used to having your head shaved, you're going to look so damn to the to the skin. You're going to look so white. Might be sunburn everywhere. They could tell, like, yeah, he just got to prison not that long ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's like on the way up, when people were, like, talking that rah-rah, I did what I, I needed to do, but I was expected to go through something like that on the way back because I thought that was what the institution was like. And on the way back, it was nothing like that. It was totally different. I already knew how it worked. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You feel me? So me, I'd pick Lake Butler was the roughest place as far as doing time in a reception center during my experience while in prison. Okay. Then after that, went up to the top one which was uh, Washington Annex, you know what I'm saying, which is, uh, what is it, what is it, West Florida Reception Center, I want to say, or something like that. Yeah, so up top, that one there, uh, Washington Annex, was the final reception center that I landed at, you know what I'm saying, and that one right there wasn't really nothing, you know what I'm saying. It was different than every other one, just like South Florida, but... I only say it was different because of how big the open bay dorms were. You know, they were like walking inside of a fucking Costco's almost, I felt like. You know, like the open bay dorms were real big and like real wide, huge open areas. You feel me? Every other place I went to, even after that, like every main institution, real deal prisons, permanent camps that I went to, none of their open bays were that big. You feel me? Instead of it looking like a warehouse, with a bunch of bunk beds and shit, like Washington Annex looked, all the prisons I went to that had open bays looked like houses, looked like the length of a house, like picture of the side of a house. It was they were smaller, you know what I'm saying? And when I seen that at Washington Annex, you know you got to look at it. I was on my way to my main camp. 
they sent me from the bottom of Florida up to the top of Florida my very first time in prison. So here you got about a month and a half later of me being sentenced, I'm already at the whole other side of my state. You feel me? And me seeing this for the first time, these big ass open bay dorms, you know, I'm thinking this is what it's going to look like at my camp I go to. If I go to another institution that I'm on my way to go into, which obviously, because it's a reception center, as you know, I'm, I'm thinking that this is what I'm going to see as I get to where I'm going. Once I touch down, this is what it's going to look like. I'm getting a little feel of what it is. In all reality, it ain't. I, there's no prison that I've ever been to that looks anything like South Florida Reception Center. There's no prison that I've been to that looks anything like Washington Annex. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally. But I know there is institutions out there that look like Washington Annex. But I never went to any of those. So what my mind was taking in and my eyes were viewing and I was, you know, think I'm preparing as I'm making my way to where I'm going. When I got there, it was totally different. Nothing like what I was expecting from the get-go. You see, so you think that you're learning on your way up there and, and really what you're seeing isn't what you're learning, but what you're hearing is what you're supposed to take in to consideration and make sure you lock that in your mind and just remember certain things. You see what I'm saying? But... As far as how Washington Annex looked, the fourth reception center from where I'm from, it wasn't bad there though. It was just, it just looked totally different than anywhere. Same thing with South Florida Reception Center. South Florida Reception Center's dorms have like a, a, a catwalk, which it's like you go up the stairs here inside your quad and then you can walk to the cells up top and then it turns into glass turns into like a glass it's like a hallway with cells and then it turns into glass and you're walking above outside and then you see like the other part of your dorm you know like the guards door where they walk in at you feel me it's like totally different it's like if one stairway goes up this way in one dorm and then people go up the stairs and they walk around as they walk to the that catwalk there's a door that stops them from walking into the next quad you see what i'm saying and then it's like y'all's the whole railing, like the guards will come in this dorm, this quad, and they'll walk through the whole catwalk. And they'll pop the door and they'll be in the next quad, they'll shut the door. Pop the door, to be in the next quad, they shut the door. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like something I've never seen at any other institution I've ever been at. You feel me? And as far as like the catwalk area to where like you can literally be where the cells are at and you're like looking outside through a glass it's like a glass fucking display hallway and you're looking at the back of your dorm because the officer's booth doors right there and you just see people walking in and out of your dorm and then you'd walk around and go down the stairs and you'd be on the other side of being able to see that glass catwalk over there see what i'm saying that's like i've never seen anything like that as far as how it looked you know what i'm saying but a lot of people that I ended up meeting and coming across while I was doing my bids complained of how ratchet South Florida Reception Center was. How it was the worst place for them to do time out of the four reception centers. Like, oh, that one ain't that bad, but no, South Florida, man, that shit sucks, dog. I'm going to have to go to South Florida again. I don't want to go to South Florida again. And in my mind, I'm like, man, that shit was sweet. That shit was cool to me, you know what I'm saying? I liked it there. I guess it was just because I felt home field advantage. I guess it's because I felt you know, close to my area, even though it's still a while, you know, a county or whatever over from where I'm from, but I still felt, you know, in my area, I guess. So, you know, I felt more comfortable, at ease with myself to know that I'm still in my region. You see what I'm saying? And for a lot of people who are from down south, when they go up top, they were most likely not like the other reception centers as well you see what i'm saying to me butler hands down was the worst one when i got to calhoun which was my first main camp i was going to after i went through the four reception centers and i went to calhoun that's in bluntstown florida when i got there calhoun was like shaped kind of like butler to me you know like the way the open bay dorms are and everything like that and how the chow hall has center gate and all that sh that's exactly how calhoun was set up like a concentrate camp you feel me so when i got there and seen how it was i was like damn this shit looked like lake butler oh this shit looked just like that one place i was at so then i started thinking damn this place is gonna be just like that fucking reception center that i was at 
You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking once I got off the bus and seen how it was. I was like, man, this shit looks just like the place that I was at before Washington. You see what I'm saying? It was kind of like getting the Washington Annex and seeing the difference. It was like, oh, okay, so I made it through the tough part, I guess. You know, I mean, that was that was the the hump on the trail was Lake Butler. You feel what I'm saying? These guards over here at Washington ain't that bad or nothing. So I was thinking like maybe just Butler was like that. You know, and then when I landed at Calhoun, my main camp, first main camp, I'm like, damn, they all get off the bus, da -da -da -da, real racist, real rednecked out. You know, taking it out on all types of people over just anything and trying to hurt people. I'm like, this shit's going to be just like Butler. And then it was a messed up camp at, you know, as far as with the guards. You feel me? And then it never dawned on me until I got there. It looked just like Lake Butler. So me, my opinion all, just to let y'all know which one I feel like was my worst reception center going through is going to be Lake Butler. Okay? If yours is different, put it in the comment section. Because like I said now, I had a bad experience on the way going through it, on the way up the map, which was my very first time at that institution. Take that back. My very first time at that reception center. But on the way back down when I was getting transferred for excessive DRs and got a negative transfer from Calhoun and was making my way back down to go to Charlotte, I had to go through Butler again. And when I was prepared with that, that banger, ready to wet whoever, let them come up to me now trying to say some shit about, oh, you know, people from down south got to pay rent, yada, yada, yada. You feel me? Last time I had to get in a fight over that shit, but this time ain't no fight. And we stabbing shit now. You feel me? So... It wasn't like that on the way back down, though, you see? So I was I was prepared for no reason. So that's when I was like, all right, this shit ain't really... I was kind of like looking for trouble. Looking around like, let me see somebody from fucking a year and a half ago that was here. Boy, and I'm going to hit him in their neck from right now. Just they ain't even going to remember. That's how I was looking. Like, I was literally looking for problems. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like that. But So I had one bad experience in the reception center, and I was on the way up. Never had a bad experience on the way up or down anywhere else. You get what I'm saying? So I only had one altercation, one problem, and there was a lot of, like, bullshit with the guards. You know, guards literally coming around, and in the middle of the night you'll be sleeping, and the guards will come around, and they'll purposely, like, kick your bunk. And you'll look at them, and they'll be like, welcome to prison, boy. And they'll keep walking. And you're looking at them like, what the fuck? And then you catch on, he's doing it to everybody that just got off the bus today. Going strictly to their bunks, kicking them out, welcome to prison, but welcome to prison. Like just straight picking on people, you feel me? So I'm thinking, you know, I'm new to prison. I'm like, okay, this is what they do, I guess. In my mind, it's not going to really aggravate me that much because I know that's what their goal is. You feel me? I know their goal is to piss me off. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to let it get the best of me. You feel me? I'm thinking like this is prison. This is what comes with it. He's just trying to get under my skin. In all reality, they didn't do that shit when I came back down to any of the new people. You feel me? They didn't do that anywhere else I went. So it was just the guards abusing their authority and shit like that. But anyways, if you think your time is was worse at a different reception center and you were from Florida, drop it in the comment section. Because one thing I will tell you about my channel is people watch this channel to find out the truth of what they may go through in prison. That's what my videos are for. You get what I'm saying? My videos are for the viewers more than they are for me, believe it or not. If this shit was strictly just for me, I probably would have been changed content and been trying to ride waves everywhere else like everybody else does. You understand? But no, I do this for y'all, for the viewers, okay? I know I don't get that many views. I know there's people out there to get more views than me and everything like that. I still don't care because I do this because I'm telling y'all what prison's really like. You understand? And I appreciate everybody that tunes in. And y'all drop in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. And y'all stay tuned to the next video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. But like I say before I go, make sure you keep them rats, squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, lying ass motherfuckers on YouTube, all them out your circle, man. Till next time, it's the one and only. I am my team, Frog.